I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And I'm Jackie. And we are the freaking Alconauts. We are the freaking Alconauts. And today, we're going to rock this thing out because we have an awesome beer. Ray, give us a tale of the tale. All right. So, we're doing Rush Beer from Henderson Brewing. So, with worldwide albums, uh, album sales over 40 million, including 17 platinum, three multi platinum albums in the US and Canada, plus seven Grammy nominations, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees Rush enjoy an enormous worldwide following. Rush also happens to enjoy delicious beer, so they teamed up with Henderson Brewing Company to bring you this flavorful golden ale featuring piney and citrus hop, followed by a dry, spicy finish reminiscent of white rye bread. This beer is a suggestion from Lauren from the Beard Owl Podcast. These guys have been rocking it. They are at 23 out of 100 on Good Pods right now. Check them out, link right here. And let's crack these babies open because as always, Paul's freaking thirsty. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. Let's do this, bitches. That is a golden, golden color coming out of my can and into my glass. I don't know why, but from a rock band beer, I expected more head. <laughs> uh, well, Jackie's got all the head. I got it for you. <laughs> I love the can. I love the design. Um, let's take a couple of sips and let's find out what this <laughs> beer is all about. Oh, right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers, everybody. Right, start us off. Wow, they're right. That is totally, totally malty. Um, I get the rye bread. Um, I'm not getting the, the piney hoppy bit that they talked about, but um, yeah, it's that's really, really good. Um, I like that bready, uh, malty sort of flavor that's there. Jackie? Um, I was going to say the same thing, so I cheated a little bit because I uh, took a little bit of the head first and then I had a sip. And the head tasted so much like the rye bread. Immediately, that's the flavor that I got. Um, and the, ta the taste of the actual, like the one sip brought it up out a little bit more. But yeah, it's definitely in there. I agree. So, so far, so good. Yeah. I say this f is f easy going down. It's, uh, it's got a cornish kind of aftertaste to it, so it's not so bad. I don't know if you guys out there know, but there is a vital band member from Rush that is from the area. Ray, what, do you, what, what information do you have on Rush? Rush is like the quintessential Canadian rock band. I mean, they started in 1968. Um, you know, Getty Lee was there. Uh, Alex Lifeson was there. You know, the diehard Rush fans know Neil Peart wasn't actually the drummer when they started out. He actually didn't join the band until I think it was 1974. Uh, the original drummer was John Rutsey. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I know John Rutsey was on the, uh, the original recording for Working Man when it was released. Um, Neil Peart, um, unfortunately, uh, we've lost him recently. Um, he, was, he was responsible for most of the songwriting uh, after he joined the band. Uh, he didn't want to sing, he just wanted to write songs. And if you're familiar with Rush, it's almost like music to poetry. And you're right, they, they are an iconic band. If you think of the quintessential drummer, Neil Peart was like the guy. Every, every drummer wanted to be him. And it really brings me back to like concerts. Everyone has those concert experiences. Jackie, you got any stories for us? So, the first concert I ever went to was in Toronto, and it was a band called Modest Mouse. Uh, <laughs> so, judging by Ray's reaction, he knows who that is. Uh, most people do not. Paul is like, um, that's okay. Um, they are very interesting. So, I've gone to that concert, and I think maybe one other. Um, so... I'm very open to an Alkanotic sponsored kind of concert experience, if that's, you know. I, I, I would love to have an Alkanotic uh, concert thingy experience. experience. Yeah. Um, 
I can tell you, um, you know, most recently, I was uh, I was invited to a, a Kiss concert. Um, Is that the one where you were so hungover you fell asleep? No. Uh, <laughs> that's a different story. Uh, went there for a company thing. Um, got to be in the VIP lounge. Met a whole bunch of people. Everything was going splendidly until uh, one of our uh, co-workers fell over. At which point, security was there just like that, as they should, and uh, decided to escort our co-worker out. Uh, I, being the individual who thought, hey, unleashing someone who's drunk in Toronto and doesn't know where he is, uh, I figured I would escort, uh, escort him out as well. And the security team was actually fantastic there. They were they were so yeah. nice. Like, uh, restraining order, Jay. Restraining <laughs> order. <laughs> F restraining order. He just doesn't want to admit it. It was me. But, uh, yeah, they were so nice. And, uh, you know what? All I can say is, uh, it, I, I, I heard it was a good concert. I've always been a huge fan of Dave Wilcox. Actually got to do sound. I ran monitors for Dave Wilcox. Oh, that's so. really cool. You know what? I good, I, I, I love the bear cat. Bum bump, 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 bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum to the bear cat. Let's have another sip, and let's see if our opinions have changed. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, all. And cheers, everybody. Jackie, lead us off. It's delicious. Uh, still has a little bit of, um, still quite bitter, a little bit of a beerish taste. The carbonation is perfect. It is not overwhelming on this beer at all, which uh, to me, it is a huge preference. Um, I, I know everybody has different things they look for, but if you are like me and you look for low carbonation because you just don't want to be full after having a beer, this is the way to go, honestly. It's smoother than I expected. I really like it if you can tell by how low like the head is and everything on other than my pour, it it's good. I I find this beer a little bit harder to drink. Um, I'm finding I'm finding the rye bread um, sort of flavor is a little overwhelming for me. I wanted to love it because I really like Rush as a band. Um, it's a good beer. At this point, it's not one that I'm going to drink all night. I don't know what the fuck Ray is talking about. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this. Um, that's going down really easy. Um, the carbonation levels are, you know, there's carbonation in it. Uh, it's not overly carbonated, but there's carbonation in it. Um, it's going down easy. Like this is a this. If you're at a, a concert, this is exactly the kind of beer you're drinking at that concert, and you're not giving a fuck because you're at a fucking concert. Yes. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. Fuck <laughs> Both? That's great! <laughs> you, Jackie. Yes. I don't know if any like like rock and roll bands at the top of the charts that are like the high flying profiling kind of guys that ruin hotel rooms. No, that's, no, uh, that's you, just unfortunately you know, gone and dead. Yeah, people are more respectful now. You know, there's there's awesome bands out there right now. You know, like you gotta look at um, bands like uh, the Sheepdogs. Awesome, awesome, awesome Canadian band. Um, yes. You know, there's there's a ton of other ones out there. There's there's bands that are up and coming, and uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. But are you having a hard time remembering your family's names? Shit, I can't remember what they're called. Do you feel like you're losing your mind? Ah, <laughs> I lose my mind. Uh, Have you lost your mojo? And I'm doing air quotes. I don't think I need to find it. Then come to Shady Acres Retirement Home, where we put the step in Stepla Caucus. Call us now. We'd give you the number, but we know you'll forget it. I am so you terrible. You have a name. The, I'm terrible at the at the name game with bands. You know what? Evidently, you don't leave enough of an impression on no, Ray. No, it's, it's nothing on you guys. This is me. I am absolutely the worst when it comes to thinking of band names. No, he calls me different things all the time. Like, I'm Josie, Janet three Janet. times a week. Yeah. I get the J right, but I even said Jerry one time. <laughs> Honestly, Peter, don't worry about it. He gets her name wrong all the time. It is what it is. And really, Patrick, I mean, the fact that we're just here right now is amazing. Yeah, Ronald, 
<laughs> is our friend, regardless of what he remembers or doesn't remember. With that being said, I think we're ready for this chug. Ray, give us the rock and roll version of the rules. All right, so we are going to slam these down the back of our throats when I count down from three. Yeah. So we're going to go three, two, one, and go. on my shirt. <laughs> Groupie, you ain't taking my job. <laughs> you did really, you know what? Paul has been getting better with his chugs. You know what? We should see by the one year mark how well you have improved on your chugging abilities. I honestly think having Jackie here really sets a bar for my ability to chug. She has beat me um, because of the fact that I'm not going to say but, none, but nonetheless, <laughs> this f here is top notch. I am loving it. It's exactly what you expect when you go to a concert. It's, got, it's easy to drink. It goes down easy. Even the chug felt a little better. Um, not a lot of carbonation in it. It's, it's got those hints of the rye. It's got those hints of, I, I can taste a little bit of corn. I don't know if there is in, in there, but just kind of reminds me a little bit of you know a cornish taste. I'm enjoying it. It's great from the light beer guy. I'm giving this a three and a half. Uh, honestly, I couldn't. I could not agree more. This would be the perfect beer to drink at a festival, a concert, anywhere where you want something light that you can take on the go. Um, let me see. This is at 5.5 percent, so it's a reasonable alcohol percentage. So you would want to take this on the go and enjoy yourself. Honestly, solid. All around, I would drink this again in a heartbeat, no problem, especially if you've already had one or two that day. Um, solid four. Great. Great. I'm extremely disappointed and I'm shocked. I am scoring this the lowest I've scored anything yet out of two and a half. Wow. wow. I expected a, it's a smooth beer, don't get me wrong. And I don't want to dissuade anybody, but being the craft beer guy, I kind of expected more. Uh, it seems very one note from start to finish for me. Um, but yeah, I it's a two and a half. Rush, if you guys really hate Ray's review, I'm gonna put Ray's address down below <laughs> so you can go to his house and beat the crap out of him. Cause that mother <laughs> really needs to get like his ass kicked. Yeah, I, I, I'm so sorry guys. I just, it's it's very just not for rock me. Rock and roll, we is you, you heard it from, from the groupie. <laughs> Lauren from Beardell Podcast, you suggested, you want us to try it, we tried it, and here we are, and this is our final review. So, with that being said, I'm Paul. I'm Ray, and I'm really sorry, Henderson Brewing. And I'm Jackie. And we are the Alconauts. Cheers, all. Take care. <laughs>